Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for still continuing watching my videos and supporting to my channel. And please click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. So just vlog as an entertainment with some valid thoughts and consideration on the question of starting a new family in the Philippines. Obviously, that is each individual own decision. But for entertainment purpose, I will give you my comments, thoughts, perspective. And you can make your comments in the remarks section. My definition of family for today's entertainment is a group of one or more parents that their children living together as a unit in the Philippines. I have less of things you might want to consider as well my thoughts on the subject. Let's get started. Number one, depending on your age, it might be a good or bad decision. For instance, if you are 55 years old, you would be 70 years old when the kids is 15 years old. Even worse, if you are older. Can you keep up with the energy required for a vibrant and active boy or girl? Think it over and over and over number two research published over the last decade suggests that babies born to older men have an increased risk of arriving prematurely or developing birth defect certain cancer or neurodevelopmental disorders though the overall risk is still low it still requires careful thoughts can you afford a handicap of birth defect child? Number three, many expats come to the Philippines to escape the stress, trauma, and anxiety from divorce and family issues. Why create again a problem you solve to escape and repeat what you escape from? Better to enjoy your newfound freedom and companionship and what years you have remaining in life. Number four, Although the cost of living in the Philippines makes having a new family affordable, having a family where you choose your pension, savings, or other monetary funds such as 401,000 pesos and annuitize dramatically, you still encounter certain costs and expenses that you can avoid if there are no additional kids. Number five, you will have enough stress with marrying a Filipina with kids or your kid's wife whose family keeps asking you for financial support during crisis, day-to-day -day living, medical treatments, housing issues, or request you basically inherit your Filipina's family anyway. Number six, if you marry in the Philippines, you cannot get a divorce, only an annulment which might be very costly and last for many years. You basically left the frying pan in your own country and come into the fire in the Philippines. Number seven, most Filipina you meet are interested in foreigners already have kids. There are family laws that limit your engagement or contract with them. Even if the mother is now your wife, unless you legally adopt the kids or the kid, you still must add her to the laws concerning her kids. Don't be ignorant of this laws. Read and know them carefully if you marry into a ready-made family or suffer the consequences. Number eight, due to your age, you might have significant health problems that prevent you from being actively engaged in any kid's life. Remember, you are physically and naturally on the downside of life. The requirements of being a father at a retirement age or in a developing country can be overwhelming and increase your risk of heart attack, stroke, or worse. The golden years should be stress-free and enjoy to its foolish so you achieve the peace and serenity you soft in the Philippines. Even sex will become challenging and keeping up with your young and beautiful Filipina. 
Number nine, starting a new family in the Philippines might be the worst decision you ever made if you look at the pros and the cons objectively. The cons, in my opinion, easily outweigh the pros. However, if you are the family man type and want the responsibility, follow your heart and do what makes you happy. Number 10, there is no school bus system in the Philippines. So you don't have the government funding. Many school programs or areas that you are accustomed to in Western or other foreign countries. It's all on you and the effort and energy. It takes to ensure their welfare and well-being might be overwhelming and might be doing to you, thereby creating anxiety and stress and affecting your health. I am just playing the devil's advocate in this episode. Life is always part inherited and what we make of it. Don't let Sharon Dapulapu make your decision, you make it. And I hope the outcome is good and your consequences are non-existent. Thank you for donating, subscribing, and viewing my channel. Remember, always peace, happiness, and love, love, love. Thank you and God bless.